Nikki here. I am so glad to be here with you today because I have an awesome, true story to share from the Bible. Remember the things that we read in the Bible are true. Today's story is called In the Garden, and it is about Adam and Eve. Adam was the very first human being. God created him from dust. Because Adam needed a friend, God created Eve from one of Adam's ribs. Here's our memory verse and bottom line that goes with our story today. God's way is perfect. You can find this verse in the Bible under 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. Can you say that verse with me? God's way is perfect. Now, can you shout it? Ready? God's way is perfect. And guess what? Our bottom line today is the same as our Bible verse. God's way is perfect. Well, today's true story from the Bible begins in the very beginning when God created the most perfect garden. It had big trees, beautiful flowers, and lots of plants. Some of these plants even had food on them, and there were so many animals. But God wasn't done. As beautiful and perfect as this garden was, God knew it needed his most amazing creation. So God made people. First, God made Adam. Then, God made Eve. Now the garden was truly perfect. God gave Adam an important job too. Do you know what that job was? God told Adam to name all the animals and take care of them. Let's see if you know the names of some of these animals and maybe what sounds they make. Can you name some of these animals and make their animal sounds? Great job! Adam and Eve lived in God's wonderful garden and they knew that God's way is perfect. They could eat fruit from any of the trees except for one. In fact, it was the only rule. God told them to never, ever eat that one fruit. But guess what? Even though they knew the rule, Eve still ate the fruit. Can everyone say, Eve, oh no! No is right. Eve ate the fruit, but that's not all. Then, She handed the fruit to Adam. And guess what? Adam ate it too. Can everyone say, Adam, oh no. Oh no is right. Adam and Eve didn't do things God's way. And because of that, God had to send them away from his beautiful garden. But God still loved Adam and Eve very much. They had food to eat and animals to take care of, but it was a lot harder. It would have been so much better if they had followed God's way, because God's way is perfect. When I ask, whose way is perfect? I want you to say, God's way is perfect. You ready? Here we go. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Now, let's talk about some good choices and bad choices that we make in our lives. I'm going to show you some pictures, and I want you to decide, is that a good choice or a bad choice? Here's our first one. Stealing a cookie from the cookie jar when mom or dad said that you could not have one until after dinner. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's right, that is not a very good choice. How about this one? Sharing your toys with a friend. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's right, that is a very good choice. Here's our next one. Drawing or writing on the walls at home. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? 
That's right. We would probably be in trouble if we were drawing on the walls at home or anywhere. One more. Cleaning up a mess that we made or helping someone else clean up a mess. Would that be a good choice or a bad choice? That's right. That would be a good choice. You would be very helpful. I want you to remember when God wants you to do something, his way is perfect. So jump, jump and go God's way. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's ask God to help us jump, jump, jump and go his way. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, your way is always perfect. That means your way will always be the right way. Help us to know what your way is and then choose to go your way. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.